Okay, so I have a question. What happens if you search for a tutorial about physics or Jigo in the real? And I decided to make a tutorial myself because I'm just tired of what I've been seeing here. Um, let me show a couple of examples. So we have these. And this. And this. <laughs> this one, which was actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm impressed with the results. Um, and when you think that you can't get any worse, we then have this. So essentially what I'm proposing in this series is a simple cartoony character, pretty straightforward. And I'm going to sh show a couple of different ways of applying physics. Uh, so using counter rig, using physics asset, using um, adding dynamics directly in the blueprints. So I will go through each of the examples and we'll see how different the results look. And yeah, I just wanted to have a more um, <laughs> under 18 <laughs> available type of tutorial on this topic. And that we don't need to keep staring on fake boobs for 15 minutes to understand what is actually being done under the hood. Um, I hope you enjoy it <laughs> and let me know in the comments. Thank you. Okay, so for this project, we're going to I'm going to use the Curp Out Simple project. Uh, that is a free project in Unreal. So they have these cute characters, and they have these uh, six types of hair. So what I've done is that I came to I think it was this one, and I've just extended these hair to have more blobs under it. So can we can use that as an example for. Um, our physics and dynamics. So this is how it looks. And first thing first is that we need to combine this with the body. So I'll just create a blueprint called villager hair physics. And in here, I'm going to add a skeletal mesh for the body and then skeletal mesh for the hair. So here I will just find the villager body and then for the hair, my hair is called hair07, just this one. Um, cool. So you will notice that if I play an animation in this asset, uh, I will use the walk animation. I will just reduce the speed for 0 0.5. Um, so the hair is not following, right? So there are two ways of doing it. Uh, one is the way that meta humans use, which is directly in the blueprint. We will go to the construction tab and then we set a leader pose component. So the hair is the target and the body is the leader. If we connect it like this and compile, then the hair will follow the body. But the only issue with this is that it won't let us edit anything on the body skeletal. So if we change and if we add a contour rig, if we add physics or anything, nothing will influence those bones that we have in the hair. So this is not very useful for us. So let's just remove this and then an alternative is to create a blueprint. So if I go to the hair and I create an anim blueprint, um, hair physics, I come here and then I will use a node called copy pose from mesh. I think that's it. So if we connect this to the output pose, compile, 
Um, if I come here, nothing changed. But if I go to the hair and I add this blueprint in here, so villager is this one, compile. Uh, nothing changed. Ah, it's because I need to uh, check these boxes here. Compile. There you go. So now we can play animations on the hair and edit it, and it will still follow the animation of the body. So the first uh, example we are trying here will be using a physics asset. So normally when you create a character, it already creates a physics asset with it. Um, but if not, you can just go to the skeletal mesh, right click, create physics asset, create and assign. So because I wanted to create for every bone that is in this chain, I'll just keep this as one and I change this to be a sphere as well. So here we have the physics asset and it created even for the eyebrows and the, the eyes. So we are just selecting and deleting this. And if I press simulate here, you will see that it will just fall. And basically this is the type of movement we are getting with this, uh, with the physics assets. So we just need to change this to be a simulator type. So if you right click and go physics type simulated, um, I think this one needs to be physics type uh, kinematic. Am I wrong? Um, yeah, so means that this one stays in place and only the habits will be uh, dangling. If you want, you can also adjust here how much it constrains, like uh, you can see these red values here. So you can change uh, the size, the weight. There's a lot of uh, configurations you can like edit on the physics asset. I'm not going to go into those details um, because there are probably a lot of tutorials explaining that. But yeah, let's say we're happy with this. And if we go back to our physics as our blueprint, we just need to pass this information here. And for that, we use rigid body. Uh, so we have to select the physics asset in here, which is called SKM has 07. And we connect this one here, and this one here. So yeah, you can see it's already working here. Let's see if it's following the animation. Perfect. It's all working. Um, there is a problem, right? Because it's super colliding with the body. So for that, we need to create another, uh, another one of these physics spheres and set it to collide with these ones. Um, so the way we do it is that I'm thinking that we can probably get the this bone here. If you can't see the joints, you can select in here, show all bones. So if we go to possibly, mm, maybe spine one and right click, um, add shape, sphere, and I have it here so I can adjust the size to be what I imagine is the size of the body. Uh, let's say it's kind of here. And then I want to change it to be kinematic. And I want it to collide. So let me just hide bones. And then collision, enable collision. Yes. Um, So here you can see that if I selected this one is just this one becomes uh, purple because it's the only one actually colliding with this sphere. So what I need to do now is I, I need to select these ones and collision, enable collision. 
yes and then these ones and collision enable collision let's see if that makes sense yes so if i simulate now you can see that these spheres are colliding with the the spheres of the hair are colliding with the spheres of the what i'm calling the body um, so let's see how this looks in here if we compile so you can see now that the hair is not colliding with the body um, of course it's still colliding with the arms because in this skeleton i don't have the arms so i would have to create something from this one and maybe trying to um, yeah create a more kind of a cylinder going horizontal uh, to prevent the collision but you get the idea basically this is how you would set up a physics simulation 